Hey, what's up everyone? It's JD, the camera guy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download Lightroom presets directly onto your Lightroom program from desktop. Um, if you haven't already done so, uh, go stop over to my Lightroom collection. I've got on my website, jdthecameraguy.com. It's got all sorts of Lightroom collections that you can download and that you can install on your computer. So let's hop right into it. Today I'm going to be showing you two different ways you can download it directly from the website or if you don't do it right off the website, I'm gonna show you how to access that in your emails. It's pretty easy. Um, it'll just be right in your emails. There should be an email that's sent directly from us. Make sure to check your spam folders, just to make sure it's not there. And it should link you right back to the website, to the same page that you would look at if you were to actually just download it right from after purchase confirmation. Um, so there'll be a little download button. It'll show your order number and then whatever downloads are available for the, per the products you purchased. You'll click that download button and then what will happen is you'll actually just start to get that download um, directly into your downloads on your computer. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is right after you have that unzipped, then you're going to want to open up Lightroom. You're going to simply go over to file and then click on the import profiles and presets. Um, and then you're going to want to go over to whichever one that you downloaded. For this one, I have the Busy City collection, uh, just because that was kind of the one I just tested. Um, and I kind of already did it a couple days ago. So um, basically what I'm going to be doing here, I just open up the folder. And then you're going to want to go over to the XMP files. And then after that, you're just going to select on all of them. And then you're going to click Import. And in this case, I already have them all installed. They're already all imported on my uh, computer. So for my case, it's a little bit different just because I already have everything installed. But since you won't have everything installed, after you click import, it should just all automatically download into your user presets folder. Um, and then at that point, you can separate it out, categorize it uh, into whatever you want it to be. Appreciate everyone for watching. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the YouTube channel or go over to my website, jdthecameraguy.com. Go pick yourself up a preset. Appreciate y'all for watching. Peace.